Hey there, Raylan here. Another quick video for you as a part of my quick tips and topics series that I have started in response to your request for some shorter videos. So every week, in addition to my one big full-size video that I put out on Mondays, I'll put an additional one or two quick bite-sized videos with hopefully some helpful suggestions or topics to get you thinking or things that you can implement into your own chronic fatigue syndrome or ME, CFS, or long COVID, or whatever you might be facing health journey. So today's quick tip and topic video is of the topic variety. It is about alcohol. It is definitely not a tip. If you were hoping this is a video to teach you how to incorporate drinking into your chronic illness health recovery journey, I'm afraid that is not what this is. I wish I could say that it was, but it is not. I have yet to find a way to consume alcohol and have it improve my health. So when choosing topics, I mainly go off of what people message me about or what they request. And if I get quite a few for a specific topic, then I start putting together something on that. And I shared in a couple of earlier videos way back, about my journey with alcohol and chronic fatigue syndrome. And in response to that, I got quite a few people messaging me telling me that they had experienced something similar. So I wanted to share here a bit of what my experience was and just get the conversation going. I really wanna hear your thoughts and your experiences in the comments if you're comfortable sharing so we can start to figure this out. From what I can tell, I've done some digging. There doesn't seem to be much out there in terms of information covering how alcohol impacts chronic fatigue syndrome or ME-CFS or long COVID or any of these sorts of conditions. So when I was really sick in my first, I don't know, year or two years with this illness, when I could barely get out of bed, alcohol was out of the question. So I wasn't drinking at all. I don't think my body could have tolerated it and I don't think I had much of a desire for it. But when I started to feel even a little bit better, maybe closer towards the end of that second year, I remember there was one occasion where I decided I was gonna have some wine and I had too much wine and I got a hangover from drinking that lasted almost two full weeks. So that really kept me from drinking for quite a while after that as well. So my hangovers were intense, but I did notice that while I was drinking, I was feeling much better. I had way more energy and I could do so many things that I couldn't normally do. It was like, virtually all of my symptoms disappeared. But that two week hangover left me scared. But eventually as time went on and my health continued to improve and I started traveling and I was hanging around with a lot of people where social drinking was very much the norm and my not drinking was making me feel like I was outside of what was going on. So slowly I started drinking more when I was out with other people and alcohol became like my superpower. It was crazy how good I felt once I was consuming alcohol. And now that I've started sharing my health journey publicly, because back then I actually didn't talk about it much. And most people in my life weren't even aware that I had any kind of health issues. And I think if any of them saw any of these videos now, they think, how were you sick? Like I would sit out sometimes drinking with you until 3 a.m. Like, how is that even possible? It really was like my superpower. And I still got hangovers. They didn't last two weeks, thankfully. They were probably worse than a healthy person's hangover. But it kept me afloat. It allowed me to fit in and socialize and have friends and have energy to do things that I didn't normally do. But of course, alcohol consumption is very bad for chronic illness recovery. I think it's very bad for everybody. It's poison, so we're drinking poison dumping it into a body that's already struggling. And then I've come to appreciate because I'm hypoglycemic. So I've read every single book I think on hypoglycemia that exists and alcohol converts to glucose in our body faster than straight sugar even does. So it is really hard on our bodies in so many different ways. So I'm certainly not recommending that anyone who's struggling use alcohol as a way to feel normal. I'm just saying that that was my experience. So I just loved to get the conversation going and I'd love to start getting some more information out there on this since there doesn't seem to be much. So please, if you have any experience with this or any thoughts or any insights, I'd love for you to share it in the comments so we can start to learn about this and understand this. Incidentally, when I finally did recover, I cut out alcohol almost completely. It was vital that I did. I was getting nowhere 
when I was consuming alcohol regularly. When I recovered, I'd cut it out often for months at a time. Now that I'm feeling strong and healthy and symptom-free, I do still consume alcohol on occasion. So that's it. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts and your experiences. And if you enjoyed this video, I'll link up on the screen somewhere, a playlist to other quick tips and topics just like this one. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.